If I ask you to choose the continents in this map, how many would you pick? Some of you would say it's five, others six, and I know many of you would say seven. But what if I told you you are all right? And maybe also wrong? Okay, okay, let me explain. This is how the continents are actually divided. But first, let's see what the definition of continent tells us. The general definition says that a continent is one of several large land masses ideally separated by expanses of water. That's not very helpful at all, because there are massive islands. Greenland is huge and it's not considered a continent, even if it fits the definition. But Australia is considered one. At least, maybe for you it is. For me, this is just a country in a larger continent called Oceania. And here's where everything gets mixed up, because it's not that someone is right or wrong, we just learn different continental models. In reality, there is no definitive way to decide the number of continents. The ones that we have are actually a little arbitrary. The border between Asia and Europe has changed a lot over the years just because. So what are these continental models? Well, the main ones are just called 4, 5, 6, 6 again but different, and 7. So let's see how they look. The four continent model adheres strictly to the definition and combines all of Europe, Asia and Africa into one supercontinent some call Afro-Eurasia. All of America gets combined into, well, America, and it takes Australia slash Oceania and Antarctica as the other two. And as far as I saw, no one really uses it, it's just for purists of definitions. Tell me in the comments if I'm mistaken, because I couldn't see evidence of any real use. The five continent model is the one used by the UN and the Olympics. It takes into account only the inhabited continents, which for this model are America as just one, Europe, Africa, Asia and Oceania. The Olympic logo represents this with its five rings. The six continent model comes in two variants. The first is the one used in Latin America, former French colonies, Greece and countries with Romance languages. It's just like the five continent model, but with the addition of Antarctica. The other one is mainly used in former Soviet Union countries, Eastern Europe, Japan and Russia. In this one, America got separated, but Asia and Europe merge into the supercontinent Eurasia. The last one, the seven continent model, is used in English-speaking countries, parts of Western Europe, India, Pakistan, the Philippines and China. This is the one you're probably familiar with. In this one, America gets separated into North and South, Europe, Africa and Asia are its own continent, and Oceania gets demoted into just Australia and its bodies. So, what's with all this mess? Why are Australia and Oceania separated? Well, to put it simply, because no one seems to agree on anything. Some say Oceania is a continent containing Australia and the Pacific Islands. Others that Australia is the continent in the cultural region of Oceania, which contains Australasia, Melanesia, Micronesia and Polynesia. Some even debate where exactly New Zealand falls in, not deciding if it's in Australasia or Polynesia. Well, this is a mess, and no wonder, if we superficially search on Google the definition of continent, we see this, generally identified by convention rather than strict criteria. Well, that explains why everyone seems to have their own. I will deviate here a little and do something that I haven't done in any of my videos so far. I'll give you my opinion. And here it is. Continents shouldn't have to be an arbitrary division decided by one's culture. We know a lot about the planet's cross compared to when we first started to name the damn things. So maybe we could divide the continents based on their tectonic plates, because in the end they'll move anyway, taking their piece of land with them. Let's go back to this map. If we add the tectonic plates that we know of, it looks something like this. Let's get rid of the little ones, and well, this is awkward, we cannot just have India and the Arabian Peninsula on the run just because, so let's leave them as we currently do now. And we end up with something like this. Eurasia apparently is a thing, and I guess North and South America are separated in the end. As for Australia, it's its own continent, and includes New Guinea and New Zealand. 
partially. If this looks familiar, it's because it's exactly how one of the six continent models is divided. Maybe I should have mentioned that the two six continent models are named the traditional model and the geological model. Well, this is awkward. Because I was going to conclude that it wasn't about being right or wrong, that it depended on the perspective we were raised into, and that we should have that in mind when looking at other people's knowledge and opinions. But I guess in the end we are all wrong. Except for Japanese and Russians. They're right, I think. <laughs>